Miniscript is actually currently a part of Sapio. Uh, with Sapio, you are defining a commute. And with Miniscript or Bitcoin script, you're defining a key. And the difference is if you have a key, the key tells you that you can unlock your car or you can unlock your house. Um, it tells you how to operate it. You know, it's like a little car, click the button, a key, turn, put it in the lock and turn, a bus pass, tap it on the reader, right? That's a key. But it doesn't really tell you what you do once you've actually gotten that access. And a commute tells you here are the steps. So for example, go to the train, tap your, tap your pass, enter and board the train, take the train five stops, then exit the train, walk five blocks to your office, insert the key into the lock, turn it. That's a step by step procedure. And you can have forks in that commute as well. You can say, if it's a Tuesday, it's your day for donut day. So go to the donut shop, pick up donuts, and then go to the office. They will not let you into the office unless you come with donuts. So you can define different types of flows and it's procedural and stateful. Step by step by step, you're doing something. Whereas a key is sort of an atomic single action. Click the button, insert the key, turn it. And there's no statefulness to that, if that makes sense. Uh, whereas a commute, there's an expression of what is the next step? 